Tony Beats has transformed gold mining into a true family affair, where the typical family dynamics sometimes lead to interesting situations. In Gold Rush Season 14, viewers may wonder about the role of Mike Beats in this mining family saga. Born in 1990 in Yukon, Canada, Mike Beats is the second youngest member of the enduringly married couple, Tony Beats and Minnie Beats. Mike's journey in the mining world began at the tender age of 13, and he has since become an expert in operating colossal mining machinery. When there's a need to move something substantial within the mine, Mike is the go-to person, whether it involves maneuvering a dozer, handling an Oshkosh, or operating a 40-ton crane. At present, Mike holds the responsibility of overseeing the operation of heavy gold mining machinery in Klondike, Yukon, Canada. His expertise isn't limited to handling heavy equipment, he's also a skilled waterman and holds full qualifications as a skipper, showcasing his versatility in the world of mining. With his remarkable skills in operating the colossal machinery essential for the job, Mike stands out as one of Tony's most highly valued workers. Consequently, when Mike falls short of his high potential, his father's expectations weigh even more heavily on him. A vivid illustration of this dynamic unfolds when Mike ventures to inspect a trommel that has been reported as malfunctioning, a crucial apparatus used for sorting various materials. Upon arriving at the scene, his demeanor takes an abrupt sharp turn, and he sternly instructs the camera crew to step away from him. Meanwhile, Tony, growing increasingly frantic, repeatedly attempts to contact Mike via walkie-talkie, urgently asking, Mike, do you copy? Tony's frustration with Mike's unresponsiveness mounts, leading him to express his frustration with expletives and requesting Mike's assistance in repairing the trommel. Mike's annoyance is palpable as he firmly instructs the Gold Rush camera crew to leave and get out of my face. Once again, Tony tries to establish contact with Mike, inquiring if he can be heard, to which Mike responds with a defiant, no, I do not, exhibiting an almost petulant attitude. Tony then reaches out to his other son, Kevin, requesting him to step in and fix this problematic equipment. Such tensions between father and son in this already anxiety-ridden situation undoubtedly contribute to a strained atmosphere. This isn't the sole instance where Mike finds himself in a precarious situation on Gold Rush, drawing the attention and opinions of fans due to another, more calamitous incident. In Gold Rush Season 13, Episode 20, titled Washed Out, viewers witness Mike Beats as he embarks on a journey to Dominion Creek, tasked with transporting a hefty 25-ton wash plant atop his lowboy trailer. However, as he negotiates a turn, disaster strikes as the wash plant suddenly topples off the trailer, sending clouds of dust and debris into the air. Once again, the camera crew bears the brunt of Mike's frustration, with him warning sternly, if you film that, you might lose the camera. I'm absolutely serious. The arrival of Tony Beats at the scene triggers a flurry of bleeped out words as he surveys his son's latest predicament, a costly mishap involving equipment valued at $300,000 now lying on the ground. Tony remarks, that appears to be a major mistake. Nonetheless, Mike staunchly maintains that he wasn't driving at an excessive speed. As per a Reddit poll, the consensus among Gold Rush viewers is resoundingly in favor of attributing the incident to Mike's excessive speed while dismissing notions of a broken chain or any behind-the-scenes TV trickery. On Twitter, fans have taken note of the fact that despite Mike's inevitable destiny to eventually take over Tony's mining empire, he may not presently possess the readiness to step into those formidable shoes. Furthermore, there's information circulating regarding a crew member of Tony Beat's family who will be departing from the team in season 14. Given the series of events involving Mike and the predicaments he has caused, many fans speculate that the individual departing should indeed be Mike. 